Yeah. Well, I, I, I think I'll, I'll sleep off right where you were. It's, it's, it's a whole new set of skills to learn, right? Because now you have partners and you all have individual and mutual skill sets. And, you know, in our case, we all worked together uh, for, in some of some cases, I've worked with some of those guys for 13 or 14 years um, throughout the, you know, inception of Borderlands through Borderlands 3 and then beyond. And, you know, we've always had that one common pillar of, of Borderlands, like we're working on this, so we really understand this IP and we know exactly what it needs. Uh, and then, you know, you get on your own, you go, Hey, like, uh, well, we, we, we all kind of have a similar vision, right? Let's make, and then we all pitch out our Venn diagram and we're, we're finding slivers, you know, yeah. because we had the one common theme that tied us together. It's kind of like if you're working with a group of musicians in a band, like I'll just use, gen, you know, something like ACDC generically, cause everyone in the world has listened to ACDC, but it'd be probably pretty amazing if those guys went and all did individual projects how not like ACDC most of it would sound, oh, right? Because like, yeah, there's that common bond that pulls yeah. them together to create a sound, right? Yeah. And so for us, it was initially, you know, and I would imagine this is true of any group of people, when you get together to form that studio is kind of rebalancing what is important to each of you and then figuring out how to coalesce those different interests and visions and passions. You might have a guy who's into RTS games. You're like, wait, we've been making shooters for 15 years, what? Yeah. You know, and so everybody kind of has to figure out where they're going to compromise and come together. And I think that's been one one of the things that's been interesting and and kind of fun. We've kind of grown a lot. I would imagine that there's probably a hard I mean, I'm just assuming probably a hard time kind of nailing down the exact idea and who's doing what when you all have these strong opinions and you all have yeah. seasoned backgrounds where you're like, well, I know, well, no, well, I know, I know, let me, we should do it this way. And at, at a certain point that, that, um, honeymoon period, does that stick along for a while where you're like super excited? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think e each time that we dig into a new problem, you know, we're kind of learning exactly what you said. The honeymoon phase is a wonderful way to put it. And we've been very sober. We had some awesome people who had been, uh, business uh, had been entrepreneurs in the game industry prior to us that gave us some great guidance. And some of the best advice we got early was like, Hey, you guys are essentially entering into a marriage together. So, <laughs> you know, cut the BS right up front and yeah. get, get right down to, to talking real with one another. Because if you kind of, in a, in a very early formative phase, like we're in now, you know, you're paying for your, your own salary out of your savings or, or however you're managing that. And so you're, you're spending your own money every day. Yeah. And so any day, any moment that you're not being honest with one another and, and, and really taking that workman mentality of just being like, all right, this is the problem that needs to be solved. I'll pick this up and you pick that up. So we got that advice early on and that helped. We still had some of that honeymoon phase, but I think Again, most of the most of the folks that are working with us at Ruckus right now have, have been in the industry between 15 and 20 years. And so we've all, you know, we're used to being mature and taking compromise, making compromises where you need to in order to make something work. So I think, you know, years of game development prior to that in lead positions has helped a lot. Mm -hmm.